Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Hearn and this channel is all about teaching you how you can make an impact, how you can create success and how you can be happy doing it. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the lessons I have learned from millionaires during my time in LA on a business retreat. So this video is going to be lessons that I have actually learned, sat in rooms with, had conversations with, had dinner with, been coached by, delivered workshops and been one of the recipients, everything that we've learned from them. So I actually have my notebook ready to go through with you the lessons that I have learned from millionaires. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you what is possible, the mindset and the beliefs, and just how simple it really can be and give you the other side of everything that you probably see online around having to be on every platform, having to use funnels, lead magnets, opt-ins, social proof, be seen every single day, all of these things that you will be told. And of course that's so important, but when it comes to building a income, when it comes to growing your business financially, these are some of the key messages that came out of this retreat and I absolutely cannot wait to share them with you. I would love to hear your feedback after this video, which tip resonates most with you, which one you enjoyed the most, which one you're going to implement most in your life. So down below, please let's have a conversation around this because I'm sharing thought and influential people's tips and strategies with you so that this can create a ripple effect so that, that what they are doing in the world can reach more people and then you can share it with other people and it can reach them. So I'm, I'm really wanting to create that expanse of knowledge between all of us and share that together. So please, if you have any of these that resonate with you and that you connect with, I would absolutely love to hear from you in the comments box below. So the first tip that we were given was actually from Whitney Houston's life coach. And she worked with her for over a decade and everything, she is just absolutely amazing. What she was doing and is still doing in the world is coaching women around their energy, coaching women around how they see themselves, their physical being, their presence, what they do with past trauma, how they live their lives. And she said, until you love the struggle that you've experienced in your life, you will forever be in jail. For her, one of the biggest primary focuses in order to create a successful business of over a million pounds, a million dollars, whichever currency you're in, the key thing is self-development. She was adamant. She said, absolutely, if there is something that you are trying to achieve, the only reason you're not achieving it is because you haven't worked on yourself enough. If there's something that you're looking to do, the only reason you're not doing it is because it's something you haven't worked on in yourself. So a key thing from this is the fact that actually, if you are focusing so much on the business and not enough on you as the person, you will only be able to grow so much and you will become refined and constricted. And she was absolutely just mind blowing. The things that she was sharing around this and around self-development and how it's not just reading books, looking at our growth mindset, looking at our money mindset, it's not that, it's also what we are holding on to that we need to release. What's holding us back? What fears, limiting beliefs, traumas, past experiences, sadness, negativity, judgment, what are we holding on to? Because she also said, if you are worried about judgment, you are judging. If you are worried about people judging you, you are judging others because judgment is a mirror. So that's the second one actually, which wasn't going to be in this video, but actually it's so powerful. If you are judging others, that's where the fear of judgment will come from. And the only reason that you'll be judging others is because of your past experiences, insecurities, how we feel about ourselves, self-worth, self-image, because we are a mirror to what we see. So it's really, really important that you are thinking about what you need to work through to unlock that next level for yourself, because it won't be a funnel. And if it is a funnel, that won't last because you will not be where you need to be to enhance this new life, to enhance the way that your business is moving, to really embrace that on your journey and own it. So number two as well is all around the judgment of what comes from the first one. If you don't love, learn to love the struggle, you will forever be in jail. They are my first two and I'm going to tick them off my list for you. Okay, the next tip I have from, for you is actually from an amazing voice coach and speaker and opera singer, classical singer, has her own business around teaching people how to use their voice. 
And this was her analogy. And you know me, I love a metaphor. But I think in terms of what she's creating and what we're all trying to create, this is the epitome of how you need to identify yourself as a millionaire, as a person with a seven figure business, six figure business, making the money that you want to be making, expanding your business, reaching new ceilings. Imagine a mountain. There will always be someone that wants to go above the clouds. There will always be someone that wants to get to the peak. And there will be those that want to wait and watch to see what happens. If it becomes successful, they want to bring you back down to take them up. If it didn't work, they stay where they are and their negative limiting beliefs have been reinforced. If you're watching this, you are going to be one of those people that wants to get to the top of the mountain because you are ambitious, you have passions, you have a business, you want it to grow, you want to grow. So if you are going to get to that top of the mountain, you need to appreciate that not everyone is going to come with you. And you also need to appreciate that some people are going to actually want to bring you back down from the mountain. So take this opportunity to think about whatever you're trying to create in your business, it's totally okay for everyone not to come with you straight away and not everyone to go to the top of the mountain when you decide you want to go to the top of the mountain and then it's about recognizing when you get to the top of that mountain there's another mountain to climb we can always up level we can always continue to grow so it's really really important that you recognize that when you get to the top of one mountain the journey doesn't stop and your opportunity to grow doesn't end. And she said, you know, when you're looking and you are making 5K months, 10K months, you're starting out, you want your first clients, then when you get to five figures and six figures and seven figures, then multiple this and that, there's always somewhere a room for you to grow. And you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with needing to climb up mountains. And if you don't want to continue to move yourself forward and expand, that's okay. But recognize that that's your journey. So that is the third tip from Lessons from a Millionaire. This was epic. The fourth one. You need to be thinking about selling the judge of your business not the outcome so this lady is absolutely amazing digital marketing um, emma she's unbelievable and she was actually she made a million pounds in 100 days from 100 pounds and yes of course the numbers sound good but that, that is actually true we saw it she showed us the back end of her business she showed us the marketing she showed us the what she did to create that function unbelievable and now she went live and made 73,000 from her community one of her courses just unreal and we saw all of these figures it was just incredible but she said it's all about selling the sizzle not the sausage it's all about selling the feelings the emotions the excitement not the outcome because people want to know that the journey isn't okay so she said that's when you fall into the trap. If you're trying to sell the outcome, that's when people come to you and say, what are we doing in week one? What are we doing in week five? What's the breakdown? Is it going to be worth it? I don't know if I'm going to be doing it. If you sell the experience, people want in. And if they don't want in, then they're not your people because you want them to want that experience. So think about where are you selling an outcome or a product? rather than the sizzle. Where are you doing that? And can you distinguish between the two and try and create a sales system, promotions, products, services, launches, you know, wherever you are in your business, where you are focusing on the emotion, the excitement, everything that comes with it, rather than in these four modules, we will be covering X, Y, and Z. It will take you X amount of weeks. At the end of it, you will be X. Because people are going to ask you questions about that. You want people to be getting excited with you and asking you questions about experience and how you can make it happen. So sell the sizzle, not the sausage. This was mind blowing. So this is a quote from Gabby Bernstein's coach. So she's worked with Gabby for over 10 years. And remember, this: these are from millionaires. Like we're not messing around here. This is what they say. And she said, you have to embrace your wholeness. And she said, in business and as female entrepreneurs, we compartmentalize. We are a coach, a mum, a wife, a friend. We're also potentially still working. We're an accountant, we're a teacher, we're in the police, whatever we're doing. And we compartmentalize. She said, you have to accept and embrace yourself as whole until you see yourself as one whole entity, everything, all encompassing, and you can bring your whole self to every part of your life, it will be very hard for you to flourish in the way you want to. And I really resonated with that. And I realized that I was compartmentalizing what I used to do as a teacher and now what I do now. But so much of what I learned, so much, 
of what I learned and executed in my 10 years as a teacher helps accelerate my business, helps me serve my clients, helps me serve you, helps me public speak, helps me write, helps me function in the way I do. So I need to accept my wholeness. It's part of who I am. It's part of how I got here. And it's something I love. I want to embrace my wholeness. I want to embrace that. And I want to bring you my full self. I want to bring you Teacher Sam when it's necessary to break you down tips, be productive, get things done, show you systems and solutions, how to execute, how to present. And I want to bring you Coach and Entrepreneur Sam, how to build your business, how to create success. But I want to do that together. I want to become whole and I want that wholeness to allow me to then flourish. And she said this is key. So if there are areas in your life where you are compartmentalizing, you are shutting yourself off in certain ways, start to think about how you can actually move yourself forward how can you accelerate as a whole how can you start to accept every part of your journey as a whole and this includes the parts of your life that were hard challenging difficult not not what you want to be or where you want to be now but for her she said it's the only way for you as a person to create the success in the life you want because you are only one person you aren't all these multifaceted individuals you're one person having multiple experiences and you, the more you embrace that as a whole, the more that's going to actually help you move forward because you're going to soak in all of them. You're going to soak in all the experiences as one. So until you accept your wholeness, it's going to be very hard for you to flourish. This final tip for you, how can you create surplus? So one mindset shift that needs to happen if you want to become a millionaire, multimillionaire, billionaire, you know, all of these things, you need to start thinking about the surplus. So people say things like, I just want enough money to, I want to be able to pay off X. I want to be in a position where I have X amount. And my coach, Nick, you have to start thinking in the surplus. How can you have more of what you need so that you can donate to charity, make an impact in the world, change things. How can you have more of? And it's about really pushing your mindset and your boundaries in your thought processes from where you, what you want right now in this present situation or what you think you want in the next two, three years to what you want in the next 10. What legacy are you building? What surplus do you want to create? How can you make more of an impact? So rather than just thinking, this is what I want to be able to accelerate my life right now, expand that. It's not just right now in the future. How can you expand that? How can you make that where you go? How can you make that your big picture, your full picture, the surplus, the and more? Because only when you have that can you do everything else that you want in your life. That was just, yes, definitely. I loved that tip. I've shared six things from millionaires and I have more videos to come around this, around what I've learned, around the LA retreat, around business. So much is coming for you. But right now I really want you to embrace these six lessons from millionaires. I'm gonna put the links to all of their information in the show notes. I'll have a little look and find them because the final thing that I want to say is these people don't all have huge followings and aren't all famous online, but they're making over a million. It's not about what it looks like, it's about what it really is like behind the camera. And that's just for me to tell you. And I did a post on this a few weeks ago, which you've probably seen, and so many people loved it. It was all about, it's not about the numbers. I know someone that's charging quarter of a million for one-to-one -one coaching and they have 2,000 followers. One of these millionaires that spoke to us has 600 people on their mailing list. It's not about the numbers, it's about the engagement, the community, what you're offering, how you offer it, how you execute. So I really hope that these tips have helped you rethink potentially how we perceive these people and this success in this journey. And I'd love your feedback. In the comments below, which of those six tips are tips that you resonate with and you want to start thinking about and i can't wait for you to watch the rest of my videos connect with me talk to me and just get stuck into this experience together success is for everyone and i'm super excited to be here delivering this content for you and i will see you in the next video